coming to you all from Vina Tima News. So while Kenya Moore was out being an amazing mother and spending time with our adorable Brooklyn. No Brooklyn, roll it! 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 Portia Williams was on Instagram being messy. Now, for copyright reasons, I cannot play the interview, but I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Most of you can type it in YouTube and probably find that clip. So years ago on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I remember when the girls were sitting around the table and, you know, Sheree and Kenya were having a moment again. And Kenya said to Sheree she was wearing a Mama Joyce wig. And even though it was funny, you had to catch yourself because wait a minute now. Okay, you are still cubby for her mama. And what are you saying? Sheree wig looks terrible. Are you saying her mother wears terrible wig? So it's one of those situations where your initial reaction is to laugh, but then you have to catch yourself. And it got awkward because it's Candy mother and Candy was sitting right there. And this was Candy's reaction, you know. She pushed Kenya a little bit. Like, I already know Candy doesn't play about her mom, okay? Even when her mom was wrong with Todd and all of that, Candy was like, that's my mama. All of you have seen that clip. That's my mama. I don't care what it is. That's my... Exactly. Y'all have seen it, okay? After the Mama Joyce wig situation, Candy and her mom was doing an interview on a radio station in Atlanta. During that interview, of course, Kenya's name came up. So Candy's mother said, Asha is what Kenya wished she was 10 years ago. Candy then responded, Mama, they both are beautiful women. Her mom responded, they both are beautiful, but when you see them face to face, Portia is a brick house. The interviewer then said, what kind of house is Kenya? And Candy mom responded, Kenya is just a house. She's just a house. Mama, don't lie. But that didn't age well because it was the same Portia Williams that almost destroyed her daughter. And even after Portia and Phaedra almost destroyed her daughter, she still had positive things to say about Portia after all of that. Just letting you all know that the interview is old. Well, if the interview and the situation is old, why are we talking about it in 2022? It looks like a page on Instagram reposted the old interview as a throwback interview. Okay. Portia Williams could have simply reposted an image, reposted the trailer to promote Candy and the gang. Candy new show. Okay, but her obsession with Kenya Moore that she's had for years wouldn't let her be great. If you look very closely on top, you see her image and her name, Portia For Real. That's the name she goes by on Instagram. She wrote, always have loved Mama Joyce. Laughy face emoji, heart emoji. Yes, we are beautiful, but gotta love that she says what she wants make sure y'all watch candy and the gang on she tagged bravo tv and she tagged candy i went to candy page to see if she saw the tag and reposted i did not see it maybe i went there too late or maybe candy simply said okay now i don't know what you're trying to do but i want absolutely no parts of it okay that happened years ago before you did what you did with Phaedra. This is during the same time I came on here and posted her Instagram live. And I was very positive. 
I said, basically don't shoot the messenger in summary. That was my message in that video. Okay. Don't allow the mess and the messiness. Okay. Of Portia Williams ruined the message in the important conversation that they were having. So while she was on Instagram live, okay, pretending to care and talk about uplifting black women and protecting black women. That we have to come together as, as black women, as women in general, and as people. On the last day of Black History Month. Yes, are we on the last day of Black History Month? I think so. What's today? Are we? I don't. I have to. I have to check. I have to check it. It is the last day. Yes, this is the last day. <laughs> so we just made it with. The and doing all of that, she was then in her Instagram story posting something where a black woman was putting down another black woman in order to uplift another black woman. And even though she could barely remember how long she's been with the organization, um. Uh oh, yeah, and I was telling them what a what a great day to have this conversation on the last day of Black History Month. I know, Happy um, Black History Month. Yes, Happy Black History Month to you as well. And the celebrity, one of the celebrity um, ambassadors for March of Dimes, and our focus. Yes, and I have been for some time now, right? What's it been like? Almost a year, well, over a year, two years. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's, it's been, been almost two years. Yeah. yeah because, really because remember, I came down and I was uh, at your lunch that you had. That's it was on the on the Real Housewives show. So yeah, it's been about two years. She could barely remember the lady name, Stacy Stewart. I mean, your name was Portia Stewart. Not hard to remember. Anyway, today is going to be an awesome live. I'll be jumping on with Mrs. Miss Stacy Stewart herself. Um, she is the CEO of March of Dimes. Uh, it's been a minute. Um, I was just telling them just now who you were. Um, I want to introduce to you all. This is Stacy. Oh shoot, St uh, Stacy Stewart from um, the March of Dimes, CEO of March of Dimes. We've chatted before plenty of times on here. So Portia claims that she gets nervous on Instagram Live, but. This person wrote, not you forgetting Stacy's name in the beginning. She responded, lies makes me nervous. You've chatted with her plenty of times, but you couldn't say her name, even though her last name was the name you had. Maybe she's still triggered by that name, you know, Cordell. I get it. Even though she was all over the place, but I still posted the Instagram live because the message was important. But Portia, this is the reason why people don't take you seriously. This is the reason why your activism is questioned. This is the reason why you're giving a side eye. This is the reason why people don't think it, what you're doing is genuine because you can't be talking about uplift black women, black history month last day, but then in the same breath, being down another black woman in order to uplift yourself. That shows immaturity and insecurity. And some of the people reflects the immaturity because you were not throwing plates and Simon wasn't holding you down, or you weren't being messy, the views went from 2K plus. Okay, hi everybody. Hello, hi, how are you guys doing? And it kept declining, because even though the information was important, they did not care. So they clicked off, because this is the Porsche they're used to seeing. I reposted your Instagram live, the entire thing. Do you know what's being reposted today? Not Portia is uplifting black women or Portia is using her platform for the greater good. No, it's Portia being messy. What you posted on the last day of Black History Month about another black woman. Mama Joyce, she throws shade and all of that, but she was in the moment of, oh, you wanna come for me? My wig talk about me. Well, I'm going to shade back. That's it. Was she right with what she said? No, but you can't control how people come back at you when you say something. And what she said was said out of anger. It wasn't a compliment. I will understand if she just got up one day and say, this is how I genuinely feel. And so I'm going to say this about Kenya Moore. She said it out of anger. But if you notice... I'm not biased. I've been posting these side-by-side -side images. If you go to the RHOA playlist, I did a video called Portia Moore. Just type in Portia Moore and you will see 
all of the similarities and the outfits and the way she does her hair and all of the different things, you will see it. But I'm only using these two images. Hi, Kenya is 10 plus years older than Portia Williams. And look at her. Even Portia Williams' own supporters say this. She's drop dead gorgeous. I'm not putting Portia Williams down because it absolutely will defeat the purpose of my message in this video. What I am saying is, you don't have to put someone down in order to uplift yourself and feel good about yourself. And you're using a clip that someone says something in a moment of rage and anger and not because that's how they genuinely felt. If it was unprovoked and she just said it, cool. And if you have to repost a video of someone putting her down in the moment of them being upset because of a comment she made to feel better about yourself, that says a lot about you, a whole lot about you. And in Portia's eyes, look at me, Candy. Look at what I did for you. Yes, people are going to watch your show. Yes, people are talking about your show. But because of me, you are getting all of this free publicity because I was promoting your show when I posted this. So now all of the blog pages reposting this old interview is now giving you the free press that you need for your show. Then I mean later, even though the clip is your mother putting down a friend of yours. And since we're talking about the show, okay, and Portia promoting, I received this DM. I'm not gonna say this person's name, but I'm just gonna read what the person wrote. I think Portia is trying to get Kenya's fans mad with Candy and Mama Joyce so they won't watch Candy's show. What other reason for the old video interview she posted? Definitely something to think about. Candy fans will still support her, okay? But yeah, people, but yeah, it's a numbers thing, okay? This is not Candy's first spinoff show. But if Candy's spin-off show does better than Portia in the ratings and the views, it's a numbers thing. She wants to prove that, okay, my show was messy, but I still had more views than you. Because this is exactly what the clip is doing. People that were laughing at the video I posted, the drop the answer challenge of Mama Joys and Candy and, you know, Aunt Berta and the whole family and people that were watching and enjoying and laughing at those videos are now upset because they just got reminded and triggered by some of the things that Candy mother said during that time. I can see people saying, okay, I understand. It's old. We've all moved on. Karma came and hit Mama Joyce, the candy, and the whole family hard when the Portia Williams, they elevated and celebrated, ended up almost ruining her life and her daughter's life and career. However, the fact that she said those things and was that down low, I'm not messing with candy. I'm not watching candy show. I can see that happening. Now, some might say, well, Vina, okay, it was fun shade. She reposted an interview. It's not a big deal. Imagine Portia over there going on vacation, minding her business. Imagine unprovoked Kenya Morges pop out in her Instagram story to promote candy show and shaded Portia Williams, or reposted an interview dragging Portia Williams. Imagine had Kenya Moore posted something like this. It would have been war. It would have been trending on Twitter. It would have been on every single news out, like blog pages, this, that, and the third. It would have been a big deal. But Portia Williams does it. It's either crickets, or it's, oh, come on, she's just joking. We're laughing in the comments. Then when she comes back on the Real Housewife of Atlanta, she's going to then pretend like, I haven't said anything about you. I've been minding my business. When Kenya Moore responds or give her energy, it's going to be, you are so jealous of me because I have not said anything about you. Let's go back to the interview and talk about Kenya wanting to be Portia Williams. Why? Why would Kenya Moore of all people want to be Portia Williams? Why would an intelligent woman who is forever a part of history want to be Portia Williams? I'm not coming for Portia Williams. I'm just saying, if you look at Kenya Moore's stats, why will Kenya Moore want to be a Portia Williams. 
And I'm not talking about material things. I'm talking about in every way, every aspect, not even the outer beauty, because we know Kenya Moore is stunning. Even the inner beauty, when you really list some of the evil and dark things Portia Williams has done, even currently on her own show where she can no longer blame Kenya Moore for it, I will choose Kenya Moore in their beauty any day over some of the conniving, vindictive, and disgusting things Portia Williams has done. So what is there to be envious of when we talk about that? Another thing is, if Kenya Moore wants to be you so badly, if you have this great and perfect life and, and she is beneath you, then why do you have to use her and her name for attention? Now you already know I had a lot more to say. This video was actually over an hour, but if you just take a trip down memory lane and go to the RHOA playlist, then most of the things I said, I've already said it. And there's no need to do an hour or even 30 minutes video on Portia Williams reposting something. But I absolutely had to talk about it because if this was Kenya Moore, it would have been a big deal. And we're not just going to overlook it because oh, it's Portia now. Nah. But anyways, like I said, Kenya is over there being an amazing mother, minding her business, not stressing about people who's choosing to repost her for drama. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. And I hear my final loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.